Hi, I'm Phyllis Southern Frugal.com and I wanted to make this video because I'm getting ready to spray outside for bugs and I wanted to do this because uh, some people have written in and talked about uh, having fleas in their yard and all that kind of stuff and uh, what we do generally is spray in our yard and around the perimeter of our house especially around trees and shrubs so what we use and we, we've used another kind I just can't remember what kind it was but this is the kind we use it's 12 months now we live in South Carolina which is not that far from Florida and Florida has a bug problem and so do we in South Carolina so the other night I went upstairs and there was a, what we call a palmetto bug right in the stairway there he had come up the steps and so you know they get in who knows how they get in but they get in of course we are in an older home so there's probably all kinds of ways they can get in so we have to spray now this is a 12 month uh, spray y'all can see that right there and uh, you pretty much just only have to spray about once a year but this year Mr. Bucky forgot and I certainly forgot so we did we hadn't sprayed now so far we have not seen any fleas now I use the other kind of flea spray on the dogs but I don't really start using it until I actually see a flea now if you see one there are many many more that you didn't see so when you start spraying your pets you've got to consider uh, they might be in the rugs or the carpet too and it only takes I think about two weeks for them to hatch out so you you really have to treat your yard too you can't just treat the dog because then when the dog goes out and the the uh, spray is lessened then you're going to get more fleas on the dog now we prefer to use that non-toxic kind of spray on our dogs just because we had some bad experience with other kinds of sprays but the main thing, a reason I'm really doing this video is to tell you, you need to spray in your yard. You need to get a good spray that really works. Now, at this point, I don't really worry about, oh, well, what about the environment? Because I can't stand that. They're really American roaches, and they're about that long, and they run really fast. And if you get one in your house... I mean, they don't usually live inside like, like the German roaches. They, they're not like that. They kind of come in and, you know, go all around looking for food, I guess, and then they go back out the same way we ca they came in. So what happened this morning, we were coming downstairs. There was the dead palmetto bug on the steps, so he had clearly come up the steps, and I've had them do that before. They, they somehow get through this front door or either they come up through the furnace duct we're not really sure but anyway I mean we don't really see maybe one or two a year at the very most and uh, but I want to keep it that way that's what I want to do make absolutely sure so once we spray uh, this spray will last we, we, we won't see another one probably for another year but we just want to make sure so we're going to go outside now we're also going to spray around the base of the trees because what those uh, palmetto bugs do or american roaches is how most people know them they literally can climb up in a tree and that i don't think they really they don't fly they glide down so how do i know that because when we were renovating this house one night i was up in this yellow bedroom upstairs and we didn't have the storm windows on the house yet and I was refinishing something I don't know a door or something because we had the workhorses up there and Mr. Bucky was working downstairs and I had the light on and it really it was warm weather but it wasn't like the hot summertime but I had the windows up no screens and a palmetto bug just came gliding right through the window and landed right on whatever surface I was working on so that's how I know and then later on we talked to some people and they said yeah you need to spray around your trees because what they do is go up in the trees that way they glide down to wherever they want to go I'll have to tell you about one more time so this was many years ago and we had our cat uh, uh, we called her Pooh uh, she was a, a black Persian she lived to be 17 
and we had Graybo, our uh, first silver poodle, and he also lived to be 17. But anyway, the cat was actually older than Graybo. And so we were feeding them on the deck. We had a bigger deck up off the ground back then. And so they had been fed, and what we would have to do is feed uh, Pooh, the cat, up on the rail of the deck so the dog wouldn't get her food. So her little bowl had been up on the little banister. And I went out there to get the bowl, and you know, it was already dark, and I'd cut the porch light on, but I picked up the bowl in my hand. It was just a small little bowl we used. Picked it up, and two huge palmetto bugs ran up my arm. I thought I was just going to keel over right there. I was slinging my arm and everything. And so uh, we decided we're going to start spraying on a regular basis around our house because it was awful. And we also start, started feeding the cat and the dog inside after that because, I don't know, those bugs can smell food from a long distance away, apparently. But anyway, so we're going to go out and spray now. All right, we'll be back. Okay, so I've already sprayed around the corners all the way across on the house. I have already sprayed all the way around the door, sprayed the base right around where the uh, decking boards go up against the house, and I sprayed all around the base of this front porch. Now, I haven't sprayed back there yet. But see those air conditioning things that are leading? That's the upstairs air conditioner. I'm going to spray all around that because they can come right up that little thing that's holding all those uh, pipes and wires and all. All right, be right back. Okay, the air conditioner is running. I hope y'all can hear me. So we're going to spray all around these wires that are leading from the air conditioner and the vent here, I'm going to actually spray inside the vent a good amount of spray and any little thing that's jutting out from the house and spray in the corner. Now, right up there, can y'all see that pipe? That's an old gas line. I'm just spray right around this, say to spray four inches out from the uh, perimeter and that's a thing y'all see that right there that's a thing uh, I can't see my screen hopefully I've got it anyway that's a thing that where they had lightning rods on the house y'all remember the lightning rods anyway let's spray about four inches out now I'm gonna also spray in this vent real good and around the vent all right, so I already sprayed up to there when I'm standing up on the porch. All right, now we're going to go over to the trees. I'm going to spray around the base of the shrubs. I can't see my screen at all, y'all. You'll just have to forgive me if I don't have it in the picture. So I'm spraying right around the base of these shrubs, like that. And these trees are actually on our property, so we're going to spray around. Now I can see. Okay. Spray around the base of these trees. This is a dogwood. And of course, this is a humongous pine tree. And those palmetto bugs just love to get in the pine trees and glide down. Spray on the other side. I'm going to spray around. This is my neighbor's shrub, but I'm going to go ahead and spray around that too. Something just got on my neck. Hold on. Okay, these trees are river birch. Sorry for the traffic out here. It's time of the day that we have some traffic. So I'm just spray around the tree and see that little area right in there? They love to hide in places like that and then come out at night. So we'll spray around this tree. I've got two more over there. And spray right in that little corner there. All right, let's go over to the other trees. All right, got the other tree here on the other side next to the sidewalk. Just gonna spray around that really, really good. 
and then the other tree. And this winter, we had some palmetto bugs come out of this. This is where, during the ice storm, this limb broke off this tree. And look there, we got some holly growing in there. Anyway, I'm spraying in between there and all around the base of it. Yeah, just spray everywhere. All right, so now we're going to spray around the RV on the tires and anything that comes up to the RV. All right, I'm going to do that, and we'll be back. All right, we finished spraying all around the uh, RV and all around the cords and the tires and everything. And so now we're going to spray around the foundation all down through there because I've already sprayed around where the porch is. All right, we'll be back. I'm also going to spray around the uh, cord or the, the uh, power line that comes into the house because they will climb right up there and see we've got a little place they would come right in following that power line so we actually spray up under that siding there also around the wire for the cable I think that's the cable and that's the telephone that we don't have anymore hmm well no that's the cable this was a telephone anyway the wires are coming into our house so they're going to get sprayed we'll be right back all right, it's important to spray around the garbage cans because even though everything's in plastic bags, I think the roaches can still smell that it's in there. So it's real important to spray all around the outside garbage can. All right, I'm gonna keep spraying. All right, we're out in the backyard now. This is a mess. Mr. Bucky needs to get out here and clean up this mess. Anyway, this is the tree that was real small when we moved here and now it's gotten really big, it broke our fence, and we fixed it several times. But anyway, this is the tree that the squirrels get in, and this is where any fleas come from, from the squirrels. I think sometimes we have rabbits in our yard too, but we have a lot of squirrels. So I'm gonna spray around this tree. All right, we'll be back. All right, this is a crepe myrtle tree, and this tree was here for as far back as anybody can remember. It's very, very old. Some of the limbs are dead, but anyway, we've cut it back many times, and now this big, uh, what is it, uh, we think a cross between a pin oak and a live oak have really kind of shaded it out. But when we first moved here, of course, the oak tree wasn't that big, and I reached my hand in there to clean out all the dead leaves, and about 10 palmetto bugs came flying out. I mean, running all over the place, so I always spray in there, and Mr. Bucky does too. All right, we're about finished. We'll be back. Okay, I ran out of spray, y'all. I did. I do have another bottle. I'm really sweating. It's super hot out here. But uh, anyway, I've got a little bit more to do, and then I'm going to be through. So I've got to go get the other bottle. We'll be back. All right, that was what hit my shoulder a while ago. I had a wasp on me that whole time. Can y'all see him? I think he got into the spray. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, he's not dead. All right, we'll be back. All right, so y'all saw the little incident with the wasp. I don't like wasps. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish up out here spraying that uh, garage, and uh, I'm going to be done with this. It is very, very hot. So anyway, I hope that y'all will... Uh, maybe learn something from this. Some of you folks that have a problem with the fleas inside, you definitely need to treat your yard because your dog will just go out and get more fleas and I don't really think there's any kind of spray that can stop that or any kind of treatment. You definitely need to treat your yard because when you use the uh, flea stuff that they take by mouth, first of all I think it's toxic to the dogs even though the vet says it's not. I don't believe that and uh, they're going to get on the dog and they have to bite the dog. So anyway, you need to treat your yard and your house and then your flea problem will be over. We use the uh, vet's best. It works absolutely. It will kill a flea. If you catch a flea on your dog and you spray the flea, put it on a bowl, put a, some saran wrap on it, spray the flea stuff in there, the flea will be dead in seconds. It definitely kills them. And then my dogs really don't get fleas on them anymore because we do treat the yard too. 
Now, treating the yard doesn't stop all fleas, so what it doesn't stop, the uh, vet's best spray works for us. So, anyway, all right, y'all, I'm going to finish spraying out here, and then i got to go in and take a bath. I've also got to spray. I sprayed around the garage already, but i got to spray inside, and I won't be doing this anymore. Mr. Bucky will be doing it. All right, we'll see y'all next time. Bye for now.